Well, I think a chase is obviously the way to get people's attention. Uh, I mean, if you want to get a dog interested or a cat, you'll start chasing. So it appeals to a very basic you know, mammalian, reptilian brainstem thing. You see something running, you want to either run after it or run away from it. One of the criticisms of APAR films and the work of Christian Doherty was that most of the movies were variations on a single theme, the chase. In various movies, the combinations of who was chasing who made all the difference. Tom Sinclair and Tom Soter would chase Alan and Saley, Saley and Sinclair would chase Soter, or Soter and Saley would chase Sinclair. There was the occasional innovation, Sinclair chasing Soter without Saley, or Soter or Saley chasing Evan Jones, or director Christian Doherty chasing Tom Soter, or, vive la difference, Alan Saley chasing a girl, Leslie Parker. As one participant joked, some people call them exciting, but for me, the movies were a good way to get some exercise. Um, I was, you know, kind of a very uh, lazy, retiring sort, uh, uh, and much more of a walker than a runner, so that... Um, I really had to kind of rev myself up for the running and the, the activity and the action, you know. Um, I'm more of a, a an armchair kind of guy, you know. But, uh, you know, looking back, you know, you can see in some of the movies I, I did rouse myself to a, a, a certain level of activity. The most elaborate chase sequence devised by Doherty was the 14-minute chase in Don't Live for Tomorrow. It started with Alan Saley chasing Evan Jones on foot. Jones gets on a bus and Saley follows on a commandeered bicycle. Then after Jones flees the bus, in a classic Doherty move, the hero gets on the bus as the villain gets off. The chase then continues on bicycles, followed by a foot chase and a final brutal shootout in Lincoln Center. The chase took three weekends, six days to film. Because of elaborate camera work involving different points of view, Doherty and the actors had to keep getting on and off buses and bikes. This meant that Jones, actress Sally Prager, and Doherty would get on a bus and the director would film Jones threatening Prager with shots from the bus of Saley in pursuit. The trio would get off the bus at 96th Street, meet Saley and the rest of the crew, and walk back to where the chase began, on 106th Street, and wait for another bus. When a bus would finally arrive, Jones and Prager would get on while Doherty would get on a bike, camera in hand, and film Saley pursuing the bus. There was even an aerial shot taken from the top of a nearby building. The entire bus sequence was not only time-consuming, since buses ran on a more leisurely weekend schedule, it was also pricey, since the filmmakers had to pay a new fare each time they got on a bus. And sometimes they had to deal with irate bus drivers. You can't just film it straight through, you got to take and retake and stuff, so we had to use more than one bus. And the, dri yeah, the drivers weren't always, weren't always too amused. So the bus driver threw Evan Jones and his girlfriend Sally Prager off at uh, one point and uh, said, get out of here. And then we found a very affable bus driver who decided to let us stay on the bus. 